Welcome to Yummies with Willow. Today we're making under five minute pizza in a mug. I'm just throwing this together for breakfast. My parents are still asleep. It's gonna be a surprise. This is now my new favorite number one recipe. After tacos, of course. So let's get started. You're gonna need a microwave safe bowl or mug. And then we're gonna add four tablespoons of all-purpose flour to each of them. Each bowl or mug is one serving. Three, four. We're gonna add one fourth of baking powder. And a pinch of salt. and one tablespoon of olive oil. Avocado oil is a good substitute though. One. And three tablespoons of milk. One. Two. Three. Now stir well with a spoon. They should look something like this. Now use a spatula or your fingers to pat it down flat. Or pat it down flat. Let's spoon on some pizza sauce. on some shredded mozzarella cheese. Mm. Now only like cheese on your pizza, you can leave it like this. But if you want to add any toppings, you should add them now. I'm going to add some pepperoni to some of them. Now they're ready. Let's put them in the microwave for about a minute and 30 seconds. Oh my god, it smells so good. I hope you enjoyed watching. See you next time. Bye! Serenity, the most peaceful town in America. Located in New Mexico, they've won countless awards for its cleanliness, good school, safety cone factory, and quality of life. President Theodore Roosevelt even visited the town to give it one of its most famous awards, a giant silver trophy. Hold on a sec. This place was founded in the 90s. How could Roosevelt visit it in the 30s? Something weird is going on. Amber, Tori, Eli, Malik, and Hector are just normal teens in Serenity. Amber's working on her Serenity Day project with Tori. Malik is getting in trouble with Hector, but making sure not to let their contentment class grades go down. And Eli is goofing off with his friend Randy, who's always been a little too goofy for his dad, the mayor of Serenity. Tori loves art. Amber likes lists and dancing. Malik likes goofing off. And Hector likes goofing off with Malik. And Eli likes water polo and making purple people eater cards with his friends, Randy, making fun of their purple uniformed police force. When Eli and Randy pass Serenity's borders, a strange thing happens to Eli, and Randy is sent away to live with some weird grandparents on the other side of the state. Something weird is going on. When they sneak into the cone factory, Malik, Hector, and Tori discover a shocking secret. Their lives aren't anything like they imagined. The camera's everywhere. Are they waiting for them to mess up? Why are all their classes called honesty and contentment and meditation? Do they only play water polo because it isn't violent? Why don't they look like their parents? Why are they have police officers if they don't have crime? They decide to run away. And so begins an adventure. I rate this book a 8 out of 10. It's pretty good. I like the characters, I like the ideas, 
but it is a little bit weird and it's kind of slow going compared to the other books in the series, which are very fast paced. I rate this book a seven. It is really slow until the last few chapters, but I do love the story. Yeah, the plot itself is pretty fun. If you like weird stories with mystery and friendship, you should try out Masterminds. Bye. Oh, wait, I flipped it upside down. One moment I love about Green Dragons is when we're all working together to create an episode and someone tells this really funny joke and we all start laughing and it just makes me feel really connected to the people around me. Favorite moments from Green Dragons is when I made my first video. Favorite moments from Green Dragons are getting to make book reviews with one of my friends and and getting to be a part of an amazing project. Hi, I think my favorite moments in Green Dragons were making origami and seeing what other people's creativity could get. It's pretty cool. Build tip of the day where I show you some Minecraft build tips. So sometimes you want to build a house that looks like a real house. So you need stuff like a living room and a bathroom and a kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to build a refrigerator. I know that a lot of people just do two iron blocks and an iron door. And this looks pretty good, but I'm going to show you how to build a refrigerator that's actually functional. So, all you need to do for this is get two white shulker boxes, or any other color if you want a colorful refrigerator, and put two of them sideways, like this. I wouldn't recommend this in survival because you do need to go to the end to get shulker boxes, but if you're just building a house in creative, this design works pretty well. Or, if you want to do sort of a different style, you can do two barrels for your fridge instead. And this design actually has the little handles. Now I'm going to build a house with a full kitchen so you can see more of what I'm talking about. 
This is my copyright friendly song. This is my copyright friendly song. I'm making a copyright friendly song just like last time. Cause I didn't feel like going on the search for copyright friendly songs. Copyright friendly songs. Do 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 All right, so if we go inside these houses, you can see that there's a kitchen in here. So this is what the fridge design looks like just in a normal house. Now, obviously, these aren't just normal houses. You can build this because they're mostly the kitchen inside. And then on the other house, you can look in here. It's pretty cramped. But here's the other fridge design. And I think it looks pretty good. That's all for today. Thanks for watching Built Tip of the Day. Bye! Hey guys, welcome back to the Magic Maker segment. Today I'm going to show you a magic trick. So let's pick a card here. Let's do this one, why not? And these six of diamonds. Nice. Down top. Split the deck. Roughly half. Watch and lock. Magic snap. Ooh. Uh, maybe. Just maybe you could see that there is a five of ten uh five of ten five of hearts right here. So let's why not? Count to five. One, two, three, four, five. And this is your card. Now watch the four cards that was between the five and your card are the four eyes. Now here is how you do that trick. So this is how you do the trick. You need the four aces and a five. I chose a random five, which was the five of hearts. So, you take the four aces, take the five, you put the four aces and the five back to back. So it should look like this. And then you put the face of the cards and the face of the five together and then your trick is all set up. Oh, you're ready to go. So, so you say, here, pick a card, any card, one card only, one card per person. <laughs> they pick a card, in this case it's the Ten of spades. You put their card on top. You split the deck roughly in half, like that. You do it like that so it's not complicated. And then you go through, go through the deck, 
then you should you should see a five your five of that you chose and then you put the right side down and then take the five off and you count to five one two three four and their card should be the five well not the five but then on the number five there we go see you later